give you an overview of the incident uh, that occurred involving the pursuit and officer involved shooting. We'll also show you a brief video and then we'll answer any questions that you may have. On June 26, 2024 at approximately 8.10 p.m., several members of the Cedar Hill Police Department Criminal Investigations Division were at 301 North Joe Wilson Road attempting to locate a suspect with active warrants for aggravated assault with a deadly weapon, family violence, and burglary of a habitation with intent to commit another felony. Officers observed a vehicle known to belong to the suspect in the parking lot and began surveilling that vehicle. Officers observed the suspect, Jarrell Hewell, black male, 36 years of age, February 10, 1988 is his birthday, walking towards the vehicle. Officers attempted to detain him, however, he was able to flee and leave in his vehicle. The suspect drove down Joe Wilson Road and then northbound on Highway 67. Mark Cedar Hill police vehicles began pursuing the suspect at that time. As the suspect entered Duncanville, a Duncanville marked vehicle also joined in the pursuit. The suspect vehicle then exited the highway at Wheatland Road. The suspect crossed Wheatland Road and the driver opened the door, leaned out, and fired his weapon at Cedar Hill police officer that was pursuing him. One Cedar Hill police officer and one Duncanville police officer returned fire, striking the suspect and ending the threat. Officers then provided life-saving measures and first aid to the suspect and he was transported to a local hospital where he remains at this time. The suspect has extensive criminal history, including charges of burglary, robbery with a dangerous weapon, and felon in possession of a firearm. In addition to the warrants that were being served, the suspect has also now been charged with felony evading in a motor vehicle. Since this shooting occurred in the city of Dallas, the shooting incident will be investigated by the Dallas Police Department Special Investigations Unit with oversight from the Dallas County District Attorney's Office. We anticipate an additional charge of aggravated assault on a public servant will be filed by them. Both police officers involved in the shooting have been placed on administrative leave, which is standard protocol in these incidents, while each agency conducts an administrative investigation into the incident. I think it's important to acknowledge the seriousness of this critical incident and the physical and emotional impact on everyone involved. I am thankful that we have a very robust peer support program, resiliency program, and able to assist with the long-term mental health needs of everyone involved. I also want to thank our elected officials, our city administrators, and our community for their support and words of encouragement. At this time, I'll turn it over to Chief Sabi. Thank you, Chief Reyes. Um, I certainly echo uh, his acknowledgement of the city officials, the citizens, and their support. Um, I know there's some questions um, in regards to how we got involved, uh, but first I want to acknowledge um, our excellent a relationship with the Cedar Hill Police Department, uh, which is obviously evident in this scenario. Um, so a lot of questions are how we got involved. So we operate on the same radio channel uh, to our Southwest Regional Communications Center. And oftentimes we assist each other during incidents, such as the case with this incident. Upon hearing the pursuit traveling north on Highway 67, Duncanville officers responded to the area to help mitigate the risk by blocking intersections. At that point, our officer got into the pursuit and continued assisting Cedar Hill officers until the suspect was placed into custody. At this time, I'll go ahead and show a brief video, and then we'll open it up to any questions you have. 